Security cameras did little to deter an attack on this home in Greenacre. It was here where underworld boss Mahmoud Ahmad was shot dead after visiting his old school friend Ahmed Bannett. His son Yasin Bannett believes the 39-year-old was followed. I hope they find the killer and I hope he gets what he deserves because he's got it coming. A message echoed by detectives searching for clues. How's your dad doing? My dad's fine. He's coping. That's all I can say. It must have been pretty shocking though for your family. Yeah. For everyone to be honest. This whole street. Two nights ago, Narelle Crescent was put under lockdown. A scene of carnage. I knew it was a shotgun, but uh, I just stayed inside. John Malki lives next door and watched Mahmoud Ahmad die on the street. He came back alive, he was shaking, and then he's gone. Police sources say Mahmoud Ahmad had recently organised shootings and extortions to make money, and they now believe his death is unlikely to be linked to the war between the Alamedine and Hamzi crime networks, and more to do with his role in a deadly shootout at Condor Park eight years ago. Police are concerned the execution-style murder could spark a new wave of gangland shootings across Sydney. Sources close to the underworld say several crime figures have been warned their lives are in danger. That includes Mohammed Ahmed's younger brother Yusuf with a bounty on his head. Bounties which inevitably pose a threat to public safety. If this was happening on Sydney's North Shore, the Premier would have acted a long time ago. I've raised this with the Deputy Premier. Um, he's working very closely with the police commissioner on this. Living next door to where this attack took place, you think police are doing enough? Well, I think they've done very, very well, to be honest with you. Either way, police have their work cut out for them, with the gunmen still on the run. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.